My name is Rachel and I suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder for almost 20 years. I lived most of my life in a hell. I mostly lived in a Volkswagen van until I was five. I spent time with this guru type person and he turned out to be a really horrible pedophile. And he abused me in every way imaginable. I didn't tell my story to anyone. I thought if I just pretended it never happened, that I could outlive it. I had a child and all the memories started coming. The more I tried to push down the memories, the more they kind of bubbled up in symptoms. I would get bleeding ulcers, panic attacks, flashbacks, and I hadn't kept food down in a year. I first got my diagnosis of complex post-traumatic stress disorder when I was in my early 20s. I tried everything. I started going in and out of clinics, hospitals, getting worse and worse and worse. Things got so bad that if I hadn't had a child, I would have killed myself. I found out about the clinical trial and I certainly had my concerns, but at that point I was so desperate I had nothing to lose, so I asked to be in the trial. So in 2005 I received my first MDMA-assisted psychotherapy treatment. I'm sitting in a clinic, blood pressure cuff on, medical staff right outside the door, here's a little white pill, I'm gonna take it. So I got a little glimmer of hope, but still I thought, I'm the hardest case ever. <laughs> How could it possibly help me? Please welcome Rachel to the show and also join us via Polly Thomas Psychiatrist and author of Ecstasy, The Complete Guide, Dr. Julie Holland. And first things first, Rachel, that was a bit of a cliffhanger and everyone in the audience right now is thinking, okay, wait, you know, you basically took an ecstasy-like substance to overcome PTSD. But I think it's important for everyone to know how you're doing today and how far you've come because of this treatment. I was cured of the PTSD I had. You were cured. So in one treatment, a couple treatments. In, to in total, I had three treatments in clinic that lasted approximately eight hours of psychotherapy mm -hmm. with the drug. And, and I'm, sh I'm sure you prior... You don't have to take the drug anymore after No, that. I don't have to take anti-anxiety or sleep meds or um, depression meds, nothing. Wow. Well, the only way to describe that, and we'll get it from Dr. Holland, I'm sure, is sort of rebooting the system, that, that whatever was off was rebooted by Well, the, let's ask right? Dr. Holland, because obviously, anytime you start talking about using an illegal drug to treat something, it's going to be controversial, but what do we think MDMA is doing in the brain in situations like this with Rachel? Well, quite a few things, actually. First of all, it's uh, massively increasing serotonin. So this is the chemical in your brain that helps you feel relaxed and calm and satiated, like you don't need anything. It's also increasing dopamine, which helps you stay focused and alert and have good concentration and good memory. And the third thing that it's doing is it's increasing oxytocin, so you have a feeling of connection and bonding and trust with the therapist. So this is basically a catalyst that's used during therapy. It makes the therapy go deeper, uh, it goes faster, and it's much more comfortable. You know, psychotherapy takes years and years. This is something that really makes the therapy sort of, it helps to get to just the part that needs to get to the sort of, you know, it's almost like a anesthesia for surgery where you can really get down to the malignant thing that needs to be examined. Uh, there's a lot of fear around talking about the trauma, but what MDMA does is it really uh, it decreases blood flow to the amygdala, which is the fear center of the brain. So your fear center is sort of offline. Um, and because you feel relaxed but very awake, you're really able to process the trauma. Most medicines that decrease anxiety also make you sleepy and they make you forgetful. But this is a medicine that massively decreases anxiety, but you're awake, you're alert, you want to talk, you want to explore, um, you're, you feel connected. It's very different from any other anti-anxiety medicine. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.